This evening we have the seven o'clock numbers in from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Gordon and just as expected it has become a little bit stronger. We're still under the influence of the flow around that. So some strong storms in the panhandle right now, but this is the storm that we're watching. It's now 95 miles to the west of Fort Myers, Florida, and it is continuing to move offshore. So the land of the Florida Peninsula is going to have a little bit less of an influence on the ability for the storm to continue to get stronger. You can see the uh, three hour time lapse as it is moving to the northwest at about 15 to 20 miles per hour throughout this afternoon, and it was looking a little bit more impressive on the satellite and radar imagery earlier in the day, but the influence of the land kind of made it look a little bit more ragged, but it is going to be encountering a lot of warm water and weak upper level winds fighting the storm from continuing to get stronger. So here are the latest numbers from the Hurricane Center. Winds now sustained at 60 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest at 17 miles per hour. The pressure has been holding steady, if not dropping a little bit throughout this afternoon. You can see that spin right there, and it is going to continue to move to the northwest over the next couple days, likely throughout tonight becoming a very strong tropical storm and by early Wednesday morning there's the timestamp 1 a.m. Wednesday possibly making landfall as a category one hurricane with 75 mile per hour sustained winds along the Mississippi and Alabama Gulf Coast. This track does take it well away from the wiregrass so the impacts from this storm directly will be minimal to some gusty winds and some periods of some pretty heavy rain. As far as this weekend, the storm will be in the midsection of the country in Missouri and Kansas, trekking across Oklahoma as well as a tropical depression. Warnings still in place as far as tropical storm warnings for the Florida Gulf Coast as that storm exits the region. But we do have hurricane warnings in place for the Mississippi and Alabama coast. For Pensacola points uh, eastward to about Fort Walton Beach, we do have tropical storm warnings in place. Winds will be increasing as we do head through tonight. This is what one particular computer model is thinking. I think for us, we're going to be looking at winds right around 5 to 10 miles per hour, maybe a little bit more. But then as we do head closer to sunrise, we could be looking at those winds being a little bit stronger at times. But by far, the strongest winds will be down at the coast and also offshore where we see those darker colors on the map. That's the main core of the storm right here. These pink colors, that's likely the hurricane force winds as it would be making its way on shore beyond 645. I think this model is a little little fast as far as it approaching the coast, but it has the path, the general idea of that correct, staying away from the wire grass. Heavy rain at times, pretty good likelihood for us. Best rain chances will be in the western part of the area. The eastern part, the further northeast you are from the system, the drier conditions will be and also the weaker the winds will be. So bottom line, I want to emphasize that for us here in the wire grass, the impacts are going to be pretty low. We will have those periods of some heavy rain, uh, one to two inches possible for us with some of the stronger storms that set up. We could have some strong to severe thunderstorms in the afternoon hours when we do have some peak heating. Breezy at times with that, and again, that greatest impact will be for the Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana coastlines over the next couple of days. And as far as the tropics, things are heating up overall. There's Gordon right there. We still have Tropical Storm Florence and another tropical wave that we're watching for the potential for development. Florence is the strongest storm out of them that we are tracking right now. 70 mile per hour sustained wind still moving to the northwest, and that will likely get close to Bermuda, but... It will be hooking more to the northeast over the next several days, going beyond the five day forecast as far as uh, the path of that. So no threat to the U.S. at this time. We will have more updates right here on DothanFirst.com and of course on WDHN News at 10. See you then.